Hello guys and welcome to your 41st Java tutorial and which I'm going to do an official tutorial on the final keyword in Java. So as most of you probably know at this point uh, the final keyword is used to declare constants in Java uh, in which case constants are simply variables that have values that do not change at all. So uh, without further ado let's go ahead and uh, create a new class let's call it uh, math our own little math class uh, for a fairly brief demonstration on constants. So how do we actually declare a constant? Well first we put the keyword final, then we put the actual data type, let's go ahead and put float, and then we put the name of the constant, let's say we want a uh, constant pi, and then we put a value of 3.141592626 and etc. Uh, <laughs> and we put this little f here at the end to signify that this value is a float so that we don't get any errors like that. right? And uh, one brief thing I would like to mention is that when you're usually naming a constant, uh, constants are named with all capital, capital letters. So if we have a constant named pi, we would just name it pi. And if we have a constant with more or two words describing it, the naming convention is generally to use underscores uh, like this there. I think I gave a fairly good demonstration of naming conventions there, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, let's create another float e, and let's set that equal to 2.718, and let's go ahead and create another final. Let's let's make a string, something completely unrelated to this class. Let's make a name string, and uh, let's put Bob in that little. S and those quotation marks. So essentially, finals can be of any data type, floats, ints, strings, doubles, whatever you really want. And why they're actually useful, or why uh, constants are used, is because if someone else were to edit this program, if someone else was collaborating with you, or they were doing this project with you, and they accidentally, somewhere along the line, let's say in a public void, uh, change variables, uh, some guy suddenly decided to change a constant's value to, I don't know, 3.1 or something of that um, something of that nature, we would suddenly get an error and uh, it would say that this final field math.py cannot be assigned. And that is because this is a final, uh, because this is a constant and uh, we, c we do not want the value of this to be changed. So no one, Bob will automatically know, or whoever is editing the program will automatically know that he's made a mistake, that he cannot change the value of this variable. This variable has to be constant. And um, it, it should be used only as such, as a constant. So uh, I think that was really all I wanted to say about constants. But for the sake of the tutorial, let's go ahead and uh, let's rename this to print opinion in which we will print a Bob's opinion about these constants. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go print ln. Let's go name plus says that plus pi plus is better than n plus e. So something really random like uh, like this, but um, um, yeah, you know what? Wait a second. Let me let me see here. I'm probably just going to change this around a bit because I mean this doesn't really demonstrate much of anything. Uh, let's say uh, Bob says that the area the area of a circle with radius three is, and here we're simply going to paste the area of a circle formula which is simply pi times 3 to the power of 2. So we're just going to have um, 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared. Let's go for that. 3 times 3 times pi, in this specific case, obviously. So clearly, we wouldn't want anyone to change the constant pi, because then Bob would say that, I don't know, the area of a circle is some other different constant times 3 times 3 but we need this statement to always be correct so um, let's make this a static method why not 
uh, and um, yeah, and let's make these static constants. Since we're using them in a static method, they must be static. Let's go ahead here and let's say math dot print opinion. Run that program and shebang. We should get a fantastically printed Bob says that the error, the R of a circle with radius 3 is uh, 28.2743. Uh, yeah, so clearly we did fail a little bit on spelling, but uh, that doesn't quite matter at this point uh, because uh, Bob co correctly calculated the area of a circle using the constant pi. And no one can change the value of that constant pi, which is also fantastic. So, yes. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial on constants and on the final keyword. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Peace.